Rabbi Ari Jun says someone shared the newsletter bulletin from the Westchester Tea Party with him last Saturday. In it, they shared a video from their September 5th meeting um, that included a speaker who um, spoke on a laundry list of anti-Semitic topics, um, spreading them. The rabbi says they found plenty of anti-Semitic content on the group's Facebook page. John says they called on political leaders to disavow the Westchester Tea Party. I'm grateful that we could rely on our um, Republican elected representatives to speak out against this. Um, many of them uh, were in touch with us directly uh, to express that they would not work with the Westchester Tea Party going forward, um, that they're not okay with it, and they'll be on the lookout. Meanwhile, at the Holocaust and Humanity Center, interim CEO David Wise says they're trying to educate people how to spot and actively fight anti-Semitism. He points to a quote from a local Holocaust survivor, Al Miller, who said the Holocaust didn't start with bullets, it started with words. He always challenged us that, you know, the way that you combat that is with, um, with good words, with kindness, with education. Wise says the organization works to teach people how to stand up against hate for themselves and for others. If we are united in that way as a community of people that values other human beings, that, that, that does not succumb to dehumanization, then we are upstanders and the, the type of anti-Semitism that, that, uh, that we're today paying attention to can't get traction. And that's what we're working to make sure doesn't happen. Now, the link to the video of that speaker is no longer working, as you saw there in the piece, but the bullet points are still on the Westchester Tea Party website. Now, on the, face, on the group's Facebook page, a disclaimer was posted a few days ago, which says the group does not support violence or intolerance, and that they always recommend people to research the subject matter so that they can engage in constructive dialogue that can lead to positive changes in society. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.